Hello one, hello all, to the land of hopes and fun streams. I'm your host, Burton, coming to you live from my clubhouse. Today we're going to be doing this in my clubhouse for the very first time ever in the history of our channel. Another thing I want to talk about the channel is that I changed the username to Major Burton Wester because it's technically my name. And Ludo hasn't been working because it hasn't been doing a lot company-wise. So yeah, we're just going to be Major Burton Wester. And it is all going to just be my stuff. When my brother was originally going to post videos on here about his channel, but he has not done anything yet and wants to go on his own. So, I'm on my own too. That's why, if you're wondering, we have a name change. No more Sit Ludo. I want to get rid of Sit Ludo. Although we could still use that here. I, I, I just don't like Sit Ludo, so. Sit Ludo is now no Ludo. Um, what do I need? I need my spinner out. I don't need a fishing pole. What did I do? Let's get that out there. Blah. Aha. So we're going to go forward. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, it's one of these guys. Surprise. Yeah, we're still going to be going up against these guys, even this late in the game. Hey, even later. We're going to be going up against these guys, I think, a few more times. How many are there? Wow, this is a lot. I forgot. I could turn into a wolf. <laughs> okay, turn into a wolf. Because wolf makes this much easier let's go over here how many more are there there are th there's three over there over here how many are there there's none over here okay so we got these three baddies Oh, got review. Ha! Yep, get back here. Eh, bad bat, bad bat. Oh, I'll get off of you. Bad bat. Ha ha ha! There we go. Everything is exploding. The world is at peace for once. All right. My TV seems very, very dark. I don't know how it's working for you guys over there, but on your end, but my TV looks very dark right now. I'm using a different TV than usual, so maybe that's why it looks darker than usual, or maybe it's because, I don't know, I'm it's the middle of the night on this game, so that might be a lot of it being contributed every left and right. Yeah, everything's happening. So this statue is actually based off of the one we saw downstairs in the room below us, and the one based off of in Ocarina of Time. All of those, if you see a statue like this, it's based off of the one in Ocarina of Time, which was, um, it was a joke statue. It was really weird because, um, Nintendo is made in Japan, and Japan's weird and stuff. So, they made a joke in the game by, um, what they did was they made the statue, you were able to use a hook shot, which is like the claw shot, basically same th principle, but you were able to hook shot the statue's nipples. Yeah, it was weird. It was a joke by Nintendo. No, it, it didn't even do anything, but you could do it, and the statue is probably one of the most famous so far in the series because it's, yeah, it has that principle to it. All right, so back to the story. We finally are here, but... Da-da-da-da! da 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 Her eye is so creepy. It's like Majora's Mask. Whoa, where'd you come from? Okay, we gotta deal with these guys now. <sighs> More text. Crap. A dark entity lure, lure, lurks. Lurks? Okay, a dark entity lurks in the twilight. House is an evil power. You who are guided by fate, you who possess the crest of the goddess, hear us. At the command of the goddess, goddesses, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient times. You seek it, but the mirror of twilight has been fragmented by a mighty power. Magic. Same thing. That magic is a dark power that he only he possesses. 
His name is. <gasps> Ganondorf. Gryffindor! Ha ha ha! Gryffindor! Okay, Grand Ganondorf. Everyone remembers that guy. Ocarina of Time. Um, there's a few other games. He was the leader of a band of thieves who invaded Hyrule Inn. Oh, crap. I didn't get to read that. He was known as a demon thief, an evil magic wielder renowned for his ruthlessness. Dude, that's so awesome. He looks amazing. Why doesn't Link look like that? But he was blind. In all his fury and might, he was blind to any danger, and thus was he exposed, subdued, and uh, I can't read that fast. And they got him. Aww, poor guy. He got a sword and paled through him. Yet. Ooh, look at him go. He's like a Rocky over here. He must have been getting his raw eggs. By some divine prank, he too was blessed with the chosen power of the gods. Talk about getting them Egg McMuffins. Oop, you're dead. And they all look to each other and they're like, what do we do? And they're like, hey, let's just throw a mirror at him. Yay. Oh, never mind. They do the logical thing and use magic voodoo power and uh, throw him into something. What is he doing? Whoop, he's gone. Poor guy. Poor sage. These are called the sages. These are the, um, the, all the different sages. How do you explain this? Um, the sages are, never mind, I'll explain after this. His abiding hatred and lust for power turn to purest malice. Perhaps that evil power was been has been passed on to Zant. You're just not figuring out where Zant got his power? It's far too late. Only the true leader of the Twilight can utterly destroy the mirror of Twilight, so Zant could merely break it into pieces. Once broken by magic, the mirror of Twilight became fragments, which even now lie hidden across the land of Hyrule. One is in the snowy mountain heights. One is in the ancient grove. And one is in the heavens. Oh, come on, jeez. Why is everything everywhere? Why can't it all be in one place? This is broken. You who, have sent, who are sent by the goddesses, you should be able to gather the three pieces. But you must be prepared for a dangerous power resides in those fragments. Yep, head nod. Everyone knows what we're doing. That makes sense. Okay, so we have just gotten a new mission. I think Midna's going to talk to us, right? She going to talk to us? No. Okay. So we have nobody to talk to. We're kind of alone right now. We could talk to Midna. I'm not going to right now. No, I'm not going to right now. I want to see. Are these guys still up here? Nope, they're gone. They're gone. They just disappeared. So. The sages, the right there. In Ocarina of Time, there were the same amount and number of sages. And those sages were, um, I'm not going to even try and say their names. It's just way too complicated. But they had all these names. And, um, yeah, there was like water, mountain, snow. There was the light, the sage of light, which was actually Zelda. And all these crazy things. 
And this, those people that you found in that game, you found out were sages, these are those people. The one that was killed is supposedly the water sage. I think it's Raruto. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. I'm going to check again. I can't check again. What am I saying? I can't remember who. I can't quite remember. I think it was the water sages that was taken. But yeah, those are the exact same people that were turned into sages. That's kind of a neat fact. It's also a little bit weird, but that's uh, it's also kind of cool. So, yeah. We since we have a warp zone here, we do not act we can come here anytime we want now. We do not need to go through the entire temple. And now we also can leave here pretty easily. Yeah, mirror. So in our next episode, we're going to have to be taking down uh not take down, we're gonna have to go find the first piece of the mirror and find out where it is hidden. Where the heck is this mirror? And, um, as they said, it's going to be in the highest mountain peaks, it's going to be in the heavens, and it's going to be in a sacred grove. I'm not going to tell you guys where those are quite yet, but you can next episode if you stay tuned. So, um, next episode, we're going to be doing all that stuff I just said. But until then, I'm your host, Burton, coming to you live from my basement, Clubhouse. It's different, Clubhouse. See ya!